This is the LNT M Comp Relay Motor Protection and Feeder Protection Relay. This is the relay without display. The HMI device is separate. This is the back side. It will mounted in DIN drive. This is DIN drive mounted. That model. See the relay. Auxiliary supply is 80 to 240 volt, both AC and DC. It will work both AC or DC. And then digital input. Digital input is 240 volt AC and DC both. Okay. This is the relay details. You see. Communication protocol is Modbus serial communication. Frequency 50 to 60 hertz. Here, this is the nameplate details built in India. You see, this is the relay serial number and then revision and relay version barcode. This is relay inspection checks. Okay. This is the voltage VT input card. This is the CM connector. This is current module. Current module connector. This relay having no CT inputs. The CT having the module type CT. So the CT module input. This expansion port and this is for display port HMI. HMI port. This is TA and EO. Temperature input and then analog output card. This is for the Modbus communication card. This is communication card. This is the digital input card. Total six inputs. This is the digital output card. This is the output. Total four outputs. This is the auxiliary supply. Relay supply card. This is the relay. LNTM comp relay. Okay, now this is the MCOMP relay HMI. Now, how to connect the MCOMP relay to the PC laptop? Okay, we will see. This is enter, you just press the enter menu. Okay, you see metering connect to the connect to PC. You click enter and then yes. Okay, then now we see to the laptop from the laptop okay from the laptop now we check the device manager we can open the device manager okay port okay you can see usb serial port com 53 okay this is our communication port this is the hours okay now this is okay just close this one and then open the software this is the software mcom relay software integrated mcom shoot version 1.1.3 okay just open you can see com port you just select the com port 53 okay then start okay and then yes give yes yes okay again yes okay now we can enter the username and password okay enter the username and password and then then just log in okay, this is the main page you can see mcom main page then here also we need to select the port you see here left side top corner option if you click it will show here you can select the which port com com port and then you can save okay then select the switch to configuration mode okay 
you select this one you can see the left side new file save file open file read write okay if you want to read the file you can read all okay you can select the read all the file will read and then if you want to write the file you can file and open the file okay this is and comes with software